Oh, my name is Luis. Luis Lopez. Yeah. All right. Um, I used to have a job. Um, I have a beautiful family. I still have a beautiful family and everything. But I get into a deep drug addiction. And every weekend I would go and party with her. It got so bad that I stopped working. I wasn't showing up to work. I lost my job. Next thing you know, I lost my studio. Next thing you know, I lost all my property that it was inside the studio because the super couldn't hold it in the basement no more. And, um, and I was homeless. So I knew that the main thing that I needed to do was stop the drug, so I stopped that. But I was still homeless. And then people who was giving out money, uh, they will hesitate. You know, they will see a young man like me, I mean, I'm not that young no more, but they will see an individual like me healthy. I'm not in a wheelchair, I got two good legs, two good hands. Obviously, I'm not that crazy, I, I got common sense. They said, why you can't get yourself a job? And they just don't understand how hard it is for a person who's in the streets to not be able to take a shower, doesn't have a change of clothes, doesn't have a place to sleep every night guaranteed to get a job. Because in order for you to work, you have to represent, you gotta be go to a job you know, presentable. It's worse now. Uh, because you gotta understand, a lot of people lost their jobs. Not me if they're homeless. We talk about people who never use drugs and stuff like that, and they had careers for years and years. And so, because they're going through a tough time, imagine somebody like me panhandling in the streets. You think that you that doesn't have a job and you have a family to support, an apartment, or a house, or whatever, you got a cart note, whatever that you have, gonna give to a homeless guy in the streets when you need yourself? So it's twice as hard for us. No, I mean, I will not go to a shelter. I went to Wars Island and it's like a death camp because it's no space between each other. Understand the beds, they literally like you standing right here and I'm, that's how far the beds are from each other. And every dorm is a honey. It's 100 individuals to a dorm. And every floor has got one, two, three, four, five, six. They got 11, tw they got 12 dorms. So that's 1,200 people. And everybody this close to each other. So can you imagine the pandemic, the effect that it will have to an environment like that? Oh, it's being chaotic because of the curfew, number one. So can you imagine a person like me Oh, curfew is at 8 o'clock. Where am I going to go? I don't have a place to go. So I, I sleep and I leave in the sidewalk. So here you come, a police officer, see me in the sidewalk. You violating the curfew. Okay, do you know that you could get arrested right now? I said, maybe you be doing me a favor. Go put, put me in a bed. Right, you maybe be doing me a favor, I told him last night. Maybe you might be doing me a favor by arresting me. I'm homeless. I sleep in the sidewalk. That officer, then he's, he's had a good heart. He got off his car and gave me a twenty dollar bill. He said, "Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Here, sir, hopefully this will help you some on some type of way where you could get some food." And most of the places are closed right now because of the curfew. But early in the morning, you might be able to get something to eat with this money. Are you able to find that and gave me twenty dollar bill. Now that okay. impressed me. That impressed me. He's going next. He's going next. Yeah, he's next online. So I was shocked. And you know, everybody's talking about police officer this, police officer that. Well, they don't realize not every officer okay. is racist. Not every officer's got the same mentality. Not any, not everybody's got the same mentality. Because when we all have the same mentality, we won't be as messed up as we are when, or the world won't be the way it is. I mean, think about it, everybody thinking one way. It will be so whack. <laughs> I cannot live in a world like that. I like the way it is. Everybody got different ways of thinking. I just don't like doing just. Like racism is something that I hate. You know, uh, abuse, you know. Uh, anything that's got to do with putting someone down or, or going against someone for no particular reason. I don't agree with that. 